Right, okay, now before you think I've gone completely mad and winding a screw into a perfectly good looking tire, well, it's for demonstration purposes. This front tire is out of date. It's 10 years old and the tread's unevenly worn as well, so it's due for replacement. So it's a perfect opportunity to show you a simple procedure, how to fit an emergency tire plug to get you out of a situation. Let's show you how it's done. Right, we've all had that heart sinking situation. You come out to your bike and you spot a screw in your tire. You walk up to your bike, you glance at your tire. What's that? Oh. Heart sinks, absolutely gutted, screw in your tire. You know you're gonna have a long afternoon. Now, if you're out and away from home, you're absolutely stuck. If you don't have breakdown cover, well, why haven't you? You should have. And obviously, even if you do, it's a four hour wait on a busy Sunday afternoon. So, puncture kit comes into play. Now, the reason I wanna make this video is this puncture kit's five years old. It had 10 plugs in it when I bought it. It's got two left. And the eight plugs I've used, I've gone in other people's tires, because I find so many people unprepared for this eventuality and yet it's so common. So I'm gonna show you quickly how to apply one of these plugs into that hole in an efficient, quick way that you can do at the roadside. This is how you do it. Right, first of all, see if you've got lucky and see if actually it is a puncher. You've spotted the nail head or the screw head. You've assumed the worst. So let's just confirm it. If it's a screw, unscrew it a little bit. If it comes out more than the thickness of the tire, like that, hanging out about half inch, then you know it's gone all the way through. And I definitely do, because I put it in there. If, on the other hand, it's a nail head, it's the same. Pull it out a little bit. If it starts hissing, you know it's a puncher. Now, while it's still in there, and it's holding the air in, leave it there, because that will be a benefit when you come to fit the plug. It'll hold the tire a bit firmer. And also, we're gonna pump this up with a couple of canisters. And if there's a load of air already in there, well, that helps also. So leave it there for now. Let's prepare the kit. Right, first of all, take your sticky plugs and the applicator tool. The applicator tool has got, get it close, it's like the eye of a needle, big giant eye of a needle, and it's actually split open on this top end. And we need to force the sticky stick through that hole. So, on this particular kit, these are pre-sticky. Some kits, you get the little rubber stick and you get a, a, a vulcanizing glue with it instead. But in these kits, as you can see, they are already sticky. And there it is. And then we take that, put it through that eyelet there. So it's half in, half out, there we are. Right, okay, got your sticky plug set to one side. Now, where you're gonna put the plug into your puncher, it might be a tiny little tin tack, it might be a weeny hole. It's gotta be big enough to accept the plug. So that's what this tool is for. It's about six mil in diameter, it's rough along the sides, it's like a little file. So quickly pop that in and then ream the hole out big enough to accept the plug and also cleans up any debris on the inside and just make sure that that plug will stay in place. So we whip the screw out, pop the skewer in and then clean it up ready. Right, okay, moment of truth. Now, you can see what happens there. When I first went to put that in, it just didn't want to go at all. Even the fact that that screw was roughly the same size as that, it didn't have a hole big enough to fit the plug in. But now we have, I've left it there for just a second. It's the moment of truth. You get yourself prepared with the plug. Now, you can see what it looks like. Quite simply, you put that end in the hole, and as you force it in, the plug does that. It folds in half. And what you'll end up with is a loop of the plug on the inside and two tails on the outside. And you wanna do it so the two tails are sticking out about half an inch, according to the instructions. So let's do that. Right, success. 
Now, one of the problems in fitting these things is that you need quite a lot of force to get it in. But if you just keep pushing with the same force harder and harder, it will pop in and you'll push the whole thing clean inside the tire and it won't work. You've got to push it in, get over that initial force. Once you feel it's gone into the tire, then back off. Push a little less hard and allow it to ease in to the exact point where you've got two half inch tails poking out. It is a little bit of a knack force at the beginning and then less force once it's gone in and set it exactly the right depth. Now that's why it's helpful to have some air in the tyre because the tyre surface resists and it goes in okay. With a flat tyre it's a bit more challenging but it's the same principle. Now to get the tool out we turn it, rotate it through 90 degrees and then ease it out gently. That allows the end of the tool to open up and leave the plug in place like this. And finally, with the blade, just cut off the excess, flush with the tyre. <sighs> okay, you fixed your puncher, and listening close, it's not leaking, so marginal success so far. You still can't ride away, because at best you've got a half inflated tire. And you get these little canisters of CO2 in the kit and they're ever so easy to use. You can put one of those on and it will inflate a completely flat tire to about 10 PSI. In my experience, a big 180 back tire takes four of these to get rideable. Now I always carry half a dozen because you ride a Harley that's got great big tires on, you need that. But on a bike like this, this front tire, even if it's completely flat, two of them would do the job. Now you're not gonna be able to check the pressure, you just need it rideable, and the first thing you do is ride to maybe a petrol station or whatever, and then check it correctly on a gauge and make sure you've got the correct inflation on your way to the tire shop to get it all dealt with properly, but I'll come to that in a minute. I just wanna show you how to fit one of these, how to empty its contents into the tire, ever so easy. Right, you get this little attachment in the kit, one end goes on the tire valve, and the other end has got a little sharp tube in it that when you screw the canister into that end, the end with the wings on that give you purchase, that will puncture the end of that and allow its contents to evacuate into the tire. Pop it in place, then pop the end in there, screw it in. I'm gonna take a few precautions today, and just holding that still, Screw it in until you feel it break the seal and empty its contents. Right, okay, now that's just a demonstration of this emergency tire repair kit on how to actually use it. Personally, I would never use one of these things if it's not in the middle 30% of the tire. The location of the hole is quite important. So just the middle bit of the tire only, not the edges. I wouldn't go there. Secondly, slow yourself down. If you put one of these emergency plugs in, just nurse the bike home. Don't ride it normally because it's not as safe as it was before. And thirdly, replace the tire. If you can afford to, then get a new tire. That's the only ultimate fix. If you absolutely can't afford a new tire, then go and see a tire shop. Go and see a professional and follow their advice. In in some cases, they can fit really nice internal plug patches that are very secure, certainly more secure than this, because this, honestly, is a get you home fix. And I just thought I'd show you how to fit it. And if you're interested in what this Husqvarna is all about, well, this is a coming project very soon, but we'll tell you all about that then. So thank you for watching. Take it easy, ride safe, and we'll see you next time.